Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is going to be called Seven Christian Traditions That Are Pagan in Origin. The first one that comes to mind is Easter, uh, Christmas, uh, what else? What's the other one? Valentine's Day, stuff like that. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Seven Christian traditions that are pagan in origin. 1. Christmas trees come from Romans and Vikings. Evergreens are an ancient symbol of eternal life. Evergreen wreaths were used as decorations in Rome. It was done during the midwinter festival of Saturnalia. Pagan Vikings and Saxons also worshipped trees. They brought them into their homes to celebrate Yule. The Christmas tree is probably an amalgamation of these traditions. Also, and I think Jeremiah 10 verses 1 through 5, it tells you that it says something about the Christmas tree. I, I know I remember this. It says something about the Christmas tree and uh, people cut it from the forest and bring it to their homes and decorate it with gold and silver. And it says that that's an act of the Gentiles. Uh, so, yeah. Easter eggs but people still celebrate it even though Jesus was not born in December but that's neither here or there so. come from ancient Persians the practice of decorating eggs is older than Christianity eggs mm. were associated with death and rebirth ancient Persians often placed decorated eggs in tombs early Christians in Mesopotamia were influenced by this tradition they stained eggs red to represent the blood of Christ. 3. St. Valentine's Day See? originated as a Roman festival. The Roman festival was called Lupercalia. The event was... You will never catch me celebrating. <laughs> you will never catch me celebrating, uh, what you call it, Valentine's Day. Ever. Held on February 15th, unmarried women would add their names to an urn. Roman bachelors would then take turns choosing the names. These matchings would often last through the festival. Sometimes they resulted in marriage. Pope Gelasius I outlawed Lupercalia in the 400s. He replaced it with a Christianized version, St. Valentine's Day. 4. Amen may have Egyptian roots. Today, this word is used to conclude Christian prayers, but there's a theory that it comes from Amun. This god was worshipped during the... That is absolutely false. It's not just a Christian... Uh, ending to a prayer. Muslims say Amin. Amin comes or derives from, from the word Amina, which is to believe. So when we say the prayer, at the end we say Amin. It means like, it's a confirmation. Like, oh yeah, we believe. It has nothing to do, it, it's an Arabic. Arabic term it means it comes from the verb believe. So, what? So who, what, what, what? New Kingdom period. Egyptians called him the king of the gods. The word was probably picked up by Jews who settled in Egypt. It's used in Hebrew scriptures as a responsive confirmation. Or, or maybe the Hebrew scriptures or Aramaic is close to Arabic and they have similar sounding words. It just means we believe. That's, that's what it means. Five, the Easter Bunny there you is go. definitely a Germanic tradition. However, its origins are murky. You ever thought that in Easter, people hide eggs, but at the same time, bunnies don't lay eggs? Am I, am I tripping? According to one theory, hares were ones associated with Yostra. Yostra, aka Ostara, was a Germanic goddess. In one legend, she postponed spring and froze a bird in the snow. Sounds like a witch to me. She then took pity on it, transforming it into a rabbit. The magic rabbit laid colored eggs. Six. What? 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 I keep, I keep hearing that Easter was like a pagan holiday because rabbit symbolizes, you know, hunching and, and clapping cheeks. And people used to go play hide and go smash. And when people go hide, the seekers, whoever they find, they keep having 
sexual intercourse with was it either it's a man or a woman and that's 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 what i've heard so i could be wrong i'm gonna do my research after this but i could be wrong christmas carols are an english folk tradition it began as a pagan practice called wassailing wassailing was part of the winter solstice celebrations originally the songs asked the gods for bountiful harvests in the middle ages peasants wassailed to their lords this was a way of asking for gifts. Over time, the verses were replaced with Christian words. 7. Ash Wednesday is a Norse invention. During Lent, Catholics receive the- Yeah, I was about to say, only Catholics do that. I see a lot of like Catholics, like Mexicans and like Latinos and stuff like that. With the, with the little cross, ash cross on their forehead. On like, like, I never understood that. Like, well, what's, what's the meaning behind that? Like, Blessing of ashes. But this tradition actually comes from... But why ashes? Because Jesus was not burnt. According to the Christians and Catholics, Jesus was... was crucified. Like that. Um, I don't know. From the Vikings. In Norse mythology, the hero Sigurd slayed a dragon. He bathed himself in the dragon's blood to become invincible. But Sigurd missed a spot on his shoulder where he was later pierced. Sigurd was cremated on a pyre, so ash came to symbolize Sigurd's strength. Norse priests would spread ashes on people's foreheads. It was a symbol of protection. Yeah, I'm not surprised, you know. Um, I was going to say something, but I'm not. I'm keeping it to myself. Yeah. Uh, there's actually more, more paganistic rituals and, and practices within Christianity, even with Judaism. Um, yeah, but people think, just because pra people practice it, they think that's actually what the religion says, when in actuality, it probably says the opposite. So, I don't know, man. This is, uh, you know, interesting. Anyways, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.